This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for March 25th, 2019. Communication takes on a slightly different texture, I guess is a good word for it. This week, we still are in the throes of a Mercury retrograde until the end of the week, but there are a couple of noticeable streaks in what is going on. The first is that Venus, the ruler of everything we value, and our social mode moves into Pisces, the sign where Mercury is currently retrograde, and notes of compassion and understanding and forgiveness and perhaps even divine inspiration take over our thoughts and our words and the information that comes to us. Unexpected information, startling messages, lightning bolts out of the blue, breaks in standoffs, openings for understanding and communication, epiphanies, blasts of information, blasts of insight and inspiration. All of those are highly possible. They are on tap before the middle of the week. It may be surprisingly easy for you to put a situation behind you or to suddenly go, you know what, everyone's being human. We're all doing the best we can. Or going easy on yourself for your role in a situation. You could have solutions present themselves to you simply by asking for insight and letting go of it, and then seeing what the songs are that you hear or stumble across. Or you might take a page from a Pisces friend of mine who was puzzling over something and said, Spirit, give me an answer within three posts on Facebook. And she logged on, and I had posted a sign that said, Mermaids enter here, and she phoned, almost screaming. (laughs) So why not have some fun with it? This is also great for programming your dreams. Again, if you do that, before you go to sleep, think of something you would like to have information about, and then specify that it come to you in language or symbols that you understand, and also that you remember the dream. And if you're working on a creative project, well, this is just utterly perfect for things simply occurring to you. Mercury finally stations direct on the 28th or 29th, depending on where you are on the planet. But the pace will still be a bit slow, sluggish, moving through fog, not quite sure where we're heading, what we're doing. But nonetheless, almost watching our feet moving out from under us and we're walking in some direction, even if we don't quite consciously understand where we're going, or what we're doing. Answers in terms of actual direct communication, information in terms of actual direct communication may still be a bit slow because Mercury will be kind of grinding to a halt before his massive turnaround at the end of the week. And just think of how quickly an ocean liner (laughs) turns around and goes back over old territory. Not particularly quickly. And as Mercury stations direct, he's going to do this on the very degree of the Pisces new moon when he had just stationed retrograde. So there could be some information that floated into your life around the 16th, 17th, 18th of February that now becomes clear or you get more about it or you can move forward on it or at least move on it in some way, even if you're just dog paddling in position. And as his cosmic ocean liner begins to steam ahead, the pace also quickens, at least in terms of what our thoughts are doing and the information that is flying. Mars, our action hero, the planet that rules how we push ourselves forward, moves into Gemini, the chatterbox, the early summer home of Mercury. Mars moves out from under the command of Venus and under the orders of the cosmic messenger, but he's still susceptible to Venus because the two of them, once he shifts, are traveling in a relationship that's kind of like a nudge or a shove with her saying, do this, do this, get a move on. Gently, not insistently, not violently, not naggingly, perhaps even lovingly. There will be a push to talk, 
to start sorting some things out, to plan, to do things, to strategize, maybe to finally laugh a bit more. Gemini's quite a trickster, just like his ruler, Mercury, to play mental games. Notice what you feel nudged to do. Notice your own impulses. Notice the energy that bubbles up in you and says, I got to say this. I got to do this. I have to find this piece of information. And the nudge may say, I have to multitask. I have to run here and there. It's what you should be doing. Some of the activity may feel like splashing in the pool or splashing in the wading pool. So what? Couldn't we all use a bit of lightheartedness? And remember, words carry energy. Venus in Pisces, squaring Mars in Gemini, is calling for kindness and gentleness and loving words and inspired words. And maybe, just maybe, getting the heck away from impulses or words or daggers that are not any of those qualities. So we're still in the water, we're still soaking up everybody's stuff, but we have the probabilities of acting a bit more gently, a bit more kindly, and most of all, toward ourselves, which leads to the homing thought of the week. Any energy that's not mine, go home. Song of the Week, and Oldie, written by Neil Diamond, recorded by the Monkees. Little bit me, little bit you. And the image of the week is a muse inspiring a poet. If you'd like to play with some astrological archetypes, I invite you to seek out the Facebook group Inner Planetary Adventures, where this coming Friday night, Eastern Daylight Time, I will be leading a Facebook Live guided visualization, free for members of the group. And you can also find more information about all of this at my site, empowermentunlimited.net where there is a toolkit for navigating the weird energies of March, and you can also sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. You'll find bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I thank the patrons who are keeping Astro Insight from going behind a paywall. Talk to you next week.